<laughs> all right. Sometimes I'll leave the show and people will come up to me and they'll be all, Debbie, what's up with your little movement? <laughs> Were you like a cheerleader? <laughs> all right, my answer is no. <laughs> N-O. <laughs> all right, you guys, I actually was a song girl. <laughs> Do you guys know the difference? Well, song girls have pom-poms in their hands and cheerleaders are whores. <laughs> All right. They're the ones that would date the football team and go out with the basketball team. All right, I'm above that. I would go out with the coaches. <laughs> what is that? All right, I did, I did go out with one mascot. <laughs> But then I found out that it was a coach that was just really hairy. <laughs> I know, but he was still fun. All right, I will let you guys know that I do have a fantasy about being a stripper. Okay, but, but not like a showgirl stripper where she totally gets naked and goes, ooh, ooh, lick, lick. Okay, not, not like that. No, I'm thinking more of like a flash dance stripper, right? Because they like have more creativeness and artisticness, right? So I'd be all like, do, 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 all right, I do have one, one of my friends thinks that I'm gay because I have a crush on Richard Simmons. <laughs> I know, that doesn't make me gay, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe I'm transsexual. I think I might be a man trapped inside a woman's body. I know, but that's not true because then I'd be attracted to women and you're hot, but I just can't. So I'm thinking maybe I'm a gay man trapped inside a woman's body. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm a gay transsexual. <laughs> Is anyone, else, anyone else out there? <laughs> All right, I tried looking online to see if there were any other gay transsexuals and just one name popped up and it said Clay Aiken. <laughs> I'm gonna track him down. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell you the truth. My mom is a little worried about me because I haven't brought a man home in a while. So she's trying to set me up with all of her friends. So we just had a big party. And after everyone left, my mom comes up to me and she goes, Debbie, I, I think Eric has a crush on you. And I go, Mom, Eric's my cousin. It's a true story. And uh, she's all, no, he's not a real blood cousin. He's only related to you through marriage. So you guys can still go out. And I go, well, no, he's still a cousin. And he's 21 years old. Right? Way too old for me. <laughs> what is she thinking? All right, I did that joke at a high school, and I had one of the students come up to me after my show, and we were talking and getting along, and then his dad comes up, you guys. His dad comes up behind us, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, is this your ride home? And the guy's all, uh, I'm 16. I know how to drive. And then he just walked away, <laughs> and I'm all, oh my god. Now he's never gonna ask me out. <laughs> oh. All right, I don't, want, I don't want you guys to think that I'm shallow or anything, but I did go out with this one guy because he looked like a celebrity. I know, but don't think bad because it only took me two days to realize, you know what, this is not John Goodman. <laughs> it was just this big fat man. I was totally sweaty, right? And the sad thing is that he broke up with me. I know. The last thing that he said to me was, you are not Carla from Cheers. <laughs>